This video will show you how to calibrate your printer on non-standard media stock. Here is an example of non-standard media stock. You'll see that it's mostly black with white gaps. But if you take a closer look at this media stock, you'll see that it is die cut and that each label does peel off from its backing and that the white spaces between the black should act as a gap. So if you're having problems calibrating on this type of stock, you need to make sure of a few things. First of all, make sure that your sensors are working properly. To do this, press the setup exit button. and continue on until you come to sensor profile. By pressing the next button. Here we come to sensor profile and we press the right black oval key. Now you'll see that the printer is printing a graphical representation of how it sees each gap. And at the very end, it prints a graphical representation of how it sees the ribbon. If your printer does not print this graphical representation, then there are a number of things wrong. Maybe your sensors are not aligned. Maybe you have your ribbon and paper loaded incorrectly. Take off the ribbon, as I have done here and then look into the back of the printer where you load the paper and you'll see a screw that is holding on the sensor. This is your top gap sensor. Next, look down below. You'll see silver plate, a couple wires coming out of it. It's your bottom gap sensor. These two sensors must be visually aligned in line of sight of each other. Here you'll see that the paper is tracking between the top sensor and the bottom sensor underneath the dancer assembly and the idle roller. Now that we've assured that the paper and ribbon are loaded correctly, let's go to the front of the printer. Press the setup exit key. Since we are using media using a gap with gaps between each label, we want to make sure that the printer is in tear off mode. This is just good for good practice. It is non continuous. We are using the sensor type web and we are using thermal transfer print method since we're using a ribbon. Let's go ahead and move forward now to the sensor profile. We're going to print the sensor profile once again because now that we've assured that the media sensors are aligned properly, we want to make sure that they can see each other. Here we have set the configuration of the printer for non-continuous, gap mode, thermal transfer, and just for good practice, set it for tear off. That way, when the test is done, you can see that the tear off of the media has come to the edge of the tear off bar. To calibrate a printer with non-standard stock, the first thing you want to do is press the setup exit key and press the next button until you come to media and ribbon calibrate. Press the calibrate button, the right black oval key, and right here it says to load backing. 
Well, since this is non-standard stock, it'll be a little bit tricky calibrating the sensors so that it just sees the gap. So here I've positioned the gaps between one of the labels right underneath that slotted rail so that I can see the gap through the slotted rail. This will align the gap with the sensor eye of the top sensor. Press the continue button. Now it says to remove ribbon. Well you don't really need to have to remove the entire ribbon. Just slide it across to the right to expose the bump on the snap plate and the ribbon sensor. Close the print head. and press the continue button. The printer will now do its voltage calibration. When it's ready, it'll tell you to reload all. So reload your ribbon and your paper as you would normally. Once your paper and ribbon are loaded and the print head is closed, go ahead and press the continue button and the printer should do its calibration. And since we have it on tear-off mode, once it's done, it should come right to top of form, as it's done here. After your calibration, go back one step to previous and see the sensor profile. Go ahead and print that profile. Here you see, once again, I've got a good graphical representation of the printer's profile. Now, if you do not get this after doing the calibration as I've mentioned here, and properly positioning the gaps of the label underneath that sensor eye, then you must have something wrong with your sensor or your main logic board. If there's something wrong with the sensor, you're probably not going to get the spikes that you see there. If there's something wrong with the ribbon sensor, it'll not have a high profile as you see it here. If you see that none of this happens and you have just a baseline print with no spikes and, the, and a low ribbon profile, then you have something wrong with your main logic board and it needs to be repaired.